Sims is coming. There's a rider coming in. I think it's one of the Cartwrights. Put his horse away, Pablo. Where are the other men? All around you. Well, what about the ranch hands? They leave any behind? No one on a cattle drive except for the kid and his father. Yeah, we spotted the boy working fence up in the north section today. I think that's him riding in. What about the father? Rode off toward town this morning. I figure he's due back. You know what General Diaz said. Nobody gets hurt. So you told me. And just where is our esteemed general now? He and Miguel rode up into the mountains. He wanted to study our layout of the country. Still playing the tin soldier, huh? Listen, Forsyth. No, you listen. When Diaz ain't here, I'm in command. You got that? If you've killed him, General Diaz will feed us to the ants. Yo. Joseph, is it too much trouble to stable your horse? Looks like you had a little accident, Mr. Cartwright. See how far you get. He 
Is it always necessary that you men loot like bandits? You disgrace us, Pistolero. Get out. Whatever you say, mi general. So this is the great Ponderosa. Look, I don't know who you are, General. Permit me then to introduce myself. I am Arturo Diaz, general in the army of Benito Juarez. Juarez doesn't have an army of bandits. We are not bandits. Then get these men out of here. My son needs a doctor. What is the matter with him? He's been hurt, wounded. Wounded? How did this happen? He was shot in the back. He was to be taken as hostage. He needs a doctor. A doctor is impossible. If one of my men were seen in Virginia City, my enemies would know I am here. Where is the boy's bed? Upstairs. Perhaps I know a thing about wounds that you do not. Levantalo. Careful. Careful. Up this way. Up to Dios. Thank you. You see, senor, we are not bandits. I must apologize for my soldiers. They are good fighting men, but their manners. But we are not bandits. General, why are you here? Because at the moment, my country is fighting for its life against Maximilian, the tyrant. And because tomorrow, his mercenaries will use the lens of the Ponderosa to... to perform a certain act. If they are successful, my people face eternal slavery. What are they going to do here on the Ponderosa? You will learn all tomorrow, senor. Mm. That is a very interesting wound he has, is it not? No shotgun wound is interesting. No, but this one is special. The barrel of the shotgun was sawed off. Makes a big pattern. Saved his life. Which one of your men carries that kind of gun? Buenas noches, senor. You had better get some sleep. We have a long ride in the morning. I'm not riding anywhere. I stay here with my son. You look like a man who is fair, just. A man who believes in human dignity. See. Si. You are. I believe you would do something for a people's liberty. What would you have me do? It may be necessary to have someone guide us through the back roads out of the mountains. You know the country. I can't leave my son alone. As soon as our work is done, you will be free to return to him. Vance. Pablo. Si, senor. I am sorry for this, senor, but he will stand guard at the top of the stairs. And now, until we ride in the morning. Buenas noches. Miguel.
Yeah, General. Take his gun, sir. What happened to the boy? Look, General, I do my job. What happened to the boy? I was forced to shoot him. In the back? Now, look, Sims was there. He can tell you. I am not talking to Senor Sims. I am talking to you, Senor Forsyth. Take off your hat. I gave an order. It was your responsibility to see that no harm came to these people. You are a pistolero, hired to carry a gun. How do you think I should discipline you? That's up to you, General. In any way, El Presidente Juarez might think fit and proper. <laughs> yes. That does give one pause. I keep forgetting how your skill for killing has served my country's cause and earned the gratitude of our great leader. In the morning, give him his guns. You all right, amigo? He should not have hit you just for shooting a gringo. It wasn't for the shooting. This has been coming for a long time. He's jealous of my pull with Juarez. Well, he's played his hand, now I'll play mine. Uh, be careful, hombre. General Diaz is still el jefe. So he's a big man, I'll take care of him. You with me? I'm with you, amigo. But what of Senor Sims? Don't worry about Sims. Once we get our hands on that wagon, he'll be easy to convince. Ready to attack, General? Get to your post. Pronto. Pistolero. He enjoys this. And you? I have had too much. Revolution takes a long time. But we have a saying. La fortuna sigue al hombre valiente. Fortune favors the brave. Even here we fight for the liberty of Mexico. Liberty of Mexico? What? One wagon? It is what is in the wagon, senor.
Dios mío. Vamos, señor. Adelante. Que se muere. Sí, señor. This is not your fight. Get up. Rice chill. I thought you were dead. For me, death is an old companion. Will you stay quiet? Hurry up with that water! Looks like you've won your victory, General. Get me a horse, bro. See me hanging on. You'd be a waste, a real waste. <laughs> Look what I got. <laughs> uh, come on, Forsyth, back off. Leave her alone. Leave her alone, huh? Leave her alone! Second time you put a gun on me, you won't do it again. General Diaz, Forsyth said you were dead. Senorita, what is your name? Molly. Molly Reed. I was a passenger on the wagon. Passenger? But there was to be no passenger. You will explain this. Well, I was on my way to San Francisco. I had no money. The wagon driver befriended me. He said I could ride in the back. Senor Cartwright, would you say she is speaking truly? Does it make any difference? How many men did we lose? All except Pablo, Miguel, Forsyth, and, and me. They were good men. Good farmers. Good fighting men.
gold. Si, senor. Gold. Stolen from my country by Maximilian's ministers. A precious metal that could buy freedom for a whole people. I pray that it will be worth the price we have paid in blood today. Where were they taking this? To San Francisco. And from there to Europe. But now, it will be used to defeat the tyrants. Adios, Senor Cartwright. We will not need you anymore. Truly, I'm sorry I've brought you so much trouble. I, I, will, I will pray for your son's recovery. Thank you. That wound, you'll never make it to the border, General. I'm afraid he is right. One more favor I must ask of you. This time there is a bullet in my back. That doctor is still not possible. Let's get him back to the ranch. Put him in the wagon, Miguel. No. I will ride. I am not dead yet. I still command. Senor Cartwright's horse. You will want to see your son. Take the senorita with you. General, you've let that wound go too long. Did you ever take a bullet out of a man, Senor Seams? No, sir. I put plenty in him, though. Do not worry. I think Senor Cartwright will show you what must be done. Miguel! See me, General. You will stand guard over the gold. Kill anyone who comes near it. In the end, eh? Si, senor. Feeling bad, General? Now, we will give you your last in surgery. You will find, senor, that a bullet goes into a man much easier than it comes out. No, 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 I do not need to hear. Nothing to be afraid of, girl. I just want to talk a little. Sims told me about how those Indians killed your folks. You know, I've been wondering, how come they didn't lift your scalp at the same time? I don't know. They just didn't. You don't say. They just left you all alone, didn't they?
maybe you can fool Sims and the others, but not me, sister. Not for a minute. Where did you live after your folks were killed by the Indians? Is some Indians wicky up? Oh, no. San Francisco, what are you going to do in San Francisco? Work in some Barbary Coast dive for drinks, huh? No! no. Get out of here, Forsyth! If I catch you in the air again, I'll kill you! Sure, Sims. You listen to me now. You stay in this house. Don't leave this room. I'll have Miguel guard you. I can, I can trust him. Are you all right? I've got to get back to the wagon, but I'll come back to you later. You've kind of taken a leg into that, Nina, huh? Look, Forsyth. If you've got anything to say to me, you say it straight and clear. Why did you join up with Juarez? To get yourself a little piece of land somewhere, right? You knew that. What are you driving at? What if I told you you could get that land, all the land you want, and soon? What would you say to that? I'd say you're out of your mind. With Diaz out of the way, we could split that gold between three of us, you, me, and Pablo, and buy a lot of land with a million dollars in gold. You mean kill Diaz? Why not? What's he to you? He pays you $50 a head to do his killing. Is he more important than a girl than the land? Think about it, Sims. A million dollars for squeezing the trigger. When you figure on doing this? Sometime between now and the morning. I think about it. Sims, remember this. No matter where you go or what you do, you need money. Like I said, I'll think about it. Go up to the house and get yourself something to eat. And while you're there, do me a favor. Watch after Molly. Si, señor. I'll watch señorita. Why Miguel? Oh, he wasn't smart like you, compadre. Couldn't see things our way. I didn't say I saw things your way. You will. Pablo, get a couple of shovels. We'll bury him deep and peaceful. Get us some help. Get back some help for the general. What are you going to do? Get a couple of horses. But those men, those men are down there with the wagon. Uh, I'll go. No, Joe. I'll go with you. Joe, don't I'll move. Go. Don't move. Do you hear, boy? Don't move. Come on. Don't let him out of this room until I get back. Do you understand? 
Mr. Cartwright? What if you don't come back? I'll be back. What are you doing here? Came to take care of the horses. Somebody's got to take care of them. I already done that. Come on, William. There's a lot of heat in this leg. I'm trying to cool it off. Yeah. Oh. You seem to know a lot about horses. I know this much. If I don't get the heat out of this leg, this horse isn't going to be pulling any gold wagon tomorrow. You're doing pretty good with that horse. The man who makes a living toting a gun. I didn't always tote a gun. You were a farmer, Sims? I was once. I had a little place in Tennessee. I worked like a mule in that land, but it weren't no good. Soil was all burned out. Then came three years of drought. It wiped me out. I know a lot about that drought. A lot of people wiped out. Some of them came out west, put their roots down in new land. Yeah. A lot of them try to make it as homesteaders. For me, a gun is handier than a plow. You ever think of uh, putting your gun away, starting over a new land? I never think of nothing else. But the last two years I've been, uh, well, I've been saving money, I've been putting it away. Man bought with blood, hard to plow. There ain't no other, mister. Yeah, there is. Up in Oregon. Free for the asking. Plenty of water, good soil. You seen it? Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> what difference does it make? How's a man like me go back to living a normal life? Put away your gun. It's that simple. Like the rest of them. All that talk about free land, starting over. Just a trick. I ought to put a bullet in both of you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pull the trigger. Sure, you're good with a gun. I wanted to get away here. He needs a doctor. But I meant every word of what I said. There's land up in Oregon and it's yours. All you have to do is take it. You haven't got what it takes, like you said. It's easier to pull a trigger than to put a hand on a plow. Go ahead, pull the trigger. Give up any chance you ever had of making anything out of your life. Johnny. Johnny, listen to him. He's right. That right, was a real pretty speech, Mr. Cartwright. Too bad he didn't fall for it. We'll try foresight. So you swallowed that Oregon free land fairy tale he handed you, huh? Well, let me set you straight about a few things. Sure, there's free land on Oregon, lots of it. And with enough money, you can build your own Ponderosa. But without money, you'll be breaking your back for years to clear a few stinking acres. That's the difference, money. 
Think about that. Get back to the house, Carpe. Go ahead. Joe. Nothing's decided, Forsyth. I'm still thinking on it. Don't take too long. What is this? You ain't crying, are you? No, I ain't crying. Hey, now you are too crying. And you're shivering. Oh, your hands are like ice. Here, come on, sit down close to the fire. Here. This is good for you. Kind of gets your circulation going. I, I guess this must have been a hard day for you. I'm afraid I started feeling sorry for myself. Molly, what, what are you planning on, on doing after this? Well, I'm all alone. I guess I'll have to get a job in San Francisco. You mean on that Barbary Coast? As good a place as any. Oh, no, it isn't, Molly. You know better than that. Do I? Yes, you do. Oh, Molly, you... you just about the prettiest girl I ever did see. I... No! You don't know me. You don't know anything. Well, now, that's funny, because from the very first moment I saw you, it was like I'd known you all my life. Molly, it may sound crazy, but don't. what I'm asking you... Don't! I'm not what you think I am. <laughs> to me... To me, you're, you're everything that's that's clean and, and pure and beautiful. I'm not. I'm not clean and pure and beautiful. Look at me. Look at me. That wagon driver knew, Forsyth knew. Everyone knows, look at me. Well, what am I supposed to see? A year ago, a Sioux war party raided our farm. They killed my father, burned him, and they made me watch. And then my mother, no, no. and then they... But they let me live. Oh, yes, they let me live. And you know why? I'll tell you Molly, why. Molly, Molly, don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, I fought them as best I could. But how can you fight them? For a year, they kept me. A year. And I escaped. But I didn't escape. No. You can never escape a thing like that. Don't. Don't, Molly. Molly, I don't care. I don't care what happened. I don't care what anyone says. They never touched you, you hear me? Nobody ever touched you. Oh, hey, Molly, Molly. Oh, nobody's ever gonna hurt you again. Nobody. Oh, Forsyth has a plan. I'm gonna have enough money to protect you from everything. Forsyth. You're not going to listen to him. Well, what's wrong with listening to him? At least it's a way. It's no way, Johnny. It's just plain cold-blooded murder. It's no way for you. It's no way for me. We're loading the gold. We'll be ready in five minutes. Are you coming? Go ahead. I'll be along in a minute. Johnny, it's no way. The man who shot your son was a murderer. The man who shot me was a traitor. He must be destroyed. General, come here. 
There's something else you've got to see. What are you doing, senor? I don't know. I've got to do something. This is the best way, Johnny. All right. But I've got to do something to stop Forsyth. You'll do nothing, compadre. You either throw in with us right now or you're a dead man. Pablo! Pistolero! You are a fool, Pistolero. In all eternity, few men have the chance to do something. Truly great. Something unselfish. Something that makes them bigger than other men. All Mexico would have been at your feet for the contribution you made to our liberty. But no, you chose something else. Something small and greedy. And that will destroy you. You don't scare me. You can die like any other man. There you are wrong, Pistolero. I am freedom for my people. I am death for those who would betray that freedom. Dios, guarda nuestro país. God, keep our country. said I'd be fine. Joe's going to be all right, too. Molly, I I've got a job to finish. A job I promised the general. I've got to get that gold back to Juarez. Johnny. Molly, you wait here until I get back from Mexico. If it's all right with Mr. Cartwright. It's all right with Mr. Cartwright. And Johnny, I got two of my neighbors to escort you as far as the border. They're good friends of mine. I thank you, sir. Take care of yourself. It's a long ride. <laughs> I will. And, well, I better let Pablo drive the wagon. I'd hate to rob Juarez of the pleasure of meeting him. Te veré pronto. Te 
know what he said to you? No. He said, I'll see you soon.